Hello everyone, welcome to the online classes of Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. I am Suma, Economics Lecturer. In today's session of First PUC Online Learning, let us discuss about the construction of pi diagram. So, this is one among the other types of diagrammatic presentation of the data and this is a very important type of the presentation because in every day's newspaper you can see one or the other data are furnished in the form of pi diagrams. So, in your high school also you have learnt about this session of first PUC also you have in the section of statistics for economics. So, what what is a pi diagram? You all know that pi diagram is the presentation of data in the form of a circle. So, what exactly is pi diagram? Pi diagram is a component diagram in which a circle is proportionally divided among the components it represents. So, it is not just presenting the data in the form of a circle, but also it has a proportional division of the data within that circle. So, therefore, pi diagram is a component diagram in which a circle is proportionally divided among the components it represents. It may be the data related to the groceries or data related to agricultural sector or industrial sector or education sector or any of the data, they can be easily presented and that will help everyone who views it in a single view itself. So, a layman can also understand the details that are presented in the pie diagram by just viewing it. So, now let us see about the calculation of the components of a diagram with the help of an example. The question will be asked in the examination like this. In a group of 36 persons, a group of 36 persons were asked to vote for their favorite colors from the list of different colors. So, there is a list of different colors and among these different colors, 36 persons group was asked to find their favorite colors or to vote for their favorite colors. So, for that we have to draw a pie chart to show this information. So, they have given the information also here. The colors are blue, green, red, yellow and the total and the total is also given. So, 18 people liked or they expressed their favorite color as blue, 9 persons expressed the green as their favorite color, 6 persons expressed red as their favorite color and 3 persons voted for yellow as their favorite color. Totally 36, all these 4 numbers together when added becomes 36. So, in the problem or in the sum itself, they have mentioned that there are 36 persons who were asked to vote for their favorite color. So, this 36 should be equal to the total number of the persons who have voted. So, now we came to know about the problem. So, this is given in the problem itself. So, for this, now we have to calculate the angles that is the central angles of each section. So, now for that we have to do the individual value divided by total value into 360. So, we should go with a formula. For this first step is we have to calculate the central angles for all the favorite colors or all the numbers that, that were given in the problem. So, to calculate the central angle, we should go through this formula. That is the individual value divided by the total value multiplied by 360 degrees because you all know that a circle is of 360 degrees. Therefore, let us see the first one that is first one is 18 divided by 36 into 360. So, 360 is divided by 36 at 10 times. So, it is 180 degree. So, 18 into 10, 
180 degree. Second one is 9 divided by 36 into 360. The 360 divided by 36 is 10. So 10 into 9 is 90 degree. The central angle of the first color is 180 degree. The central angle of the second color is 90 degree. The third one is Third one is 6. So, 6 divided by 36 into 360. So, 360 divided by 36 is 10. So, 60 degree. So, the central angle of the red color is 60 degree. And the fourth one is 3 divided by 36. That is 3 divided by 36 into 360 that is 360 by 36 is 10 so it is the 30 degree angle before we move towards the construction of a pie diagram or drawing a diagram of pie chart let us see about the angles whatever we calculated here are marked as angles the first one blue is represented with a 180 degree of central angle then the second one is represented with 90 degree third one is that is red color is represented with 60 degree of central angle and the last one that is yellow color is represented with 30 degree of the central angle so all together if we add these four angles then we get the 360 degree circle let us draw a circle and then let us mark all these components within that circle See here, I have drawn a circle. This is not exact, but you have to use a protractor and you have to calculate the components. So, the first one is 180 degree central angle. As you all know that, that a circle is of 360 degree. So, here exact half of the circle is 180 degree. So, the central angle of this is 180 degree and blue color is represented by the people that is half of the people 36 is the number of the people in that group and among that half of the group of the people that is out of 36 18 that is 50 percent of the persons in that group have represented blue color so half is mentioned here this is 180 degree so this is the blue color then you know the second one is nine persons out of 36 that is one fourth people of that group have expressed green as their favorite color so 90 is just exact half of the 180 degree so this is the 90 degree angle 90 degree is represented by green color that is totally nine persons have expressed green as their favorite color now let us see the third one that is red color 60 percent that is 60 degree angle so we'll go it is just an approximation not exact you have to make use of the protractor to calculate this so this is the 60 degree angle which represents red and the rest of the 30 degree is or only three persons among the 36 persons of that group have liked yellow color so yellow as their favorite color so out of 36 persons 18 people liked or expressed blue as their favorite color nine people expressed green as their favorite color and six persons expressed red as their favorite color and only three people expressed yellow as their favorite color so with this you can easily construct the pi diagram so for any data whatever they have asked you can just convert the individual value and divide it by total value and finally multiply it with 360 degrees so then you will get the central angle so with the help of this you can prepare the pie chart based on the data you have to construct first an appropriate circle or you have to draw in a, a circle of appropriate size then afterwards each individual component of that chart or of that problem will be represented in individual angles each item is represented in the individual sized angles these particular individual angles are 
are marked in the angle area. So for this, we have to prepare an index showing that as to which color is representing which angle. So now, after preparing the pie chart, you have to mark them so that you can give individual identities. So as in this question they have given about the colors only, you can easily cover these individual angle areas for the particular individual colors with the same color itself. So here blue color represents 180 degree, green color represents 90 degree, red color represents 60 degree and the yellow color represents 30 degrees. So you should give these details in the form of an index. So after the drawing of this pie chart and marking the different components of that uh, problem and after the pie chart is constructed with the proportional division of different components of the data given in the problem, then you have to prepare the index. So any ordinary layman can also understand the data that are presented in the form of a pie diagram with the help of this index. So even the illiterate or the undereducated and uneducated persons can also easily understand the data related to the pie diagram that is given in that chart. In front of every government departments, hospitals and in every newspapers you can daily see the details of that particular department or that particular sector is given in the form of pie diagrams. So it helps the better understanding of the information by everyone. So, these are the steps that are involved in the preparation of a pie diagram. The first one is only the data are given and the first step is to calculate the individual central angles. They are calculated by dividing the individual value by total value and multiplying it with 360 degrees as a circle has 360 degrees. Then after that you have to draw a diagram circle and then you have to mark the components. So after marking this you will get the individual central angles and then here 180 is the blue color, 90 is in the green color and 90 degree is in green color and 60 degree is in the red color. I did not get the red color chalk so I have used the pink color chalk. 30 and 30 degree angle is representing the yellow color. So after that you have to prepare an index so that it will be easily helpful for everyone to understand the data that is presented in the pie diagram. I end up today's session with a thought for the day. The thought for today is be optimistic always. Optimistic is that being hopeful. If we are pessimist then we lose all the hopes. So it is very very important for everyone to be always optimistic. As the elders say that an optimist finds an opportunity in every struggle and a pessimist finds struggle in every opportunity. So therefore the optimism is a very important virtue because every time we should always hope for the best. It is not that everything, every time the best things will only happen to us but we have to hope for the best and at times even we have to prepare for the worst also. It all depends on our mindset. Therefore, we have to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. But if we are optimistic, then it helps us to overcome the struggles because being optimistic is nothing but being a positive thinker. Being positive is always a very good virtue because it helps you to have a positive aura around you so that no negative thoughts will disturb your peace of mind. So with this, I conclude this session. Thank you.